<laughs> I'm very new to this YouTube, so <laughs> I know people like pointing like this. <laughs> Doing this using a app called Photo Room. <laughs> do anybody else do that in their spare time? Like just nothing and just spin around in these spinny chairs. Anyway, but I actually listed these yesterday and they sold. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I photographed them. And welcome to my channel guys my name is daphne i'm a full-time reseller and um we're just gonna get into it today's video is gonna be about creating removing the backgrounds and creating professional looking um photos for your product listings and doing this using a app called photo room and the only thing you need is your cell phone so <laughs> i'm very new to this youtube so <laughs> i know people like pointing like this <laughs> I will drop some photos right here, y'all. If y'all want photos that look like that, then keep watching. Okay, guys, so these are the three pairs that I'm going to um, photograph right quick. So I actually photographed these yesterday, and I was going to put a video up today. and But I couldn't get my voice to line up with the video because I just didn't do it right. But I actually listed these yesterday and they sold. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I photographed them just because this is like the smallest lot that I have. So it's like the fastest and easiest to show you how I photographed these and list these. And I listed these as, I have another brand, but I have way more socks. But how I list them, you know, on eBay, how you have like the option, the color options and stuff like that. So normally when I purchase like a lot like this, I like to go on photo room and create like a professional looking list and similar to, this one that I'm gonna show you. So let's get into it right quick. I'm gonna just hurry up and do my photo setup. And um, yeah, we're just gonna pull the background down, put the lights over it, and then we're gonna hurry up and snap the pictures. So let's get into it. So I'm just gonna use a gray background. You can use white or whatever color you want. Just make sure that the background you use is completely opposite of what this is. So like, it doesn't, it wouldn't have did, it made any difference on here, but I'm just gonna use gray anyway. But if you have like white trim or something like that around a product that you're doing, you wanna use the opposite color that to, so that photo grid can distinguish, can pick up the difference between and only crap out the background you know what i'm saying so tip is to make sure you're using a background that's completely different from the product you can even use your floor but it has to be a different color you know what i'm saying so all right y'all so this is my setup right here this is i'm gonna do this really quickly too so we're gonna get off of here and then we'll go ahead and screen up like a process. Okay y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and open up our camera here. And we're gonna do this really fast. You just want to lay your stuff as straight as possible. I don't want to get a sob view like that. I don't know if y'all could hear that noise. I'm baking some chicken, y'all. So, uh, and this part don't matter. It's not gonna matter for the um, for the uh, thing because I'm really just showing y'all the main photo. But we're gonna move all the backgrounds because you're gonna want the, to put all that in your listing. But I'm just really showing you the main photo. So um, we're gonna go ahead and open up the photo room app. And so you just wanna click the plus sign right here. You wanna click on your first photo and it's gonna remove the background for you like that. Click on eBay. And then you just want to save the image to your phone. And I'm only going to do the front photos because that's like really the only one that matter at this moment because I'm just showing you how to create a professional looking uh, photo for your product listings, like the first photo, you know what I'm saying? So um, the main photo of your product. 
when you have multiple items like this. Okay, and then we're gonna save that one. And then we're gonna click one more time and we're gonna remove this one. Okay, now after you have, you could just keep that, we could have kept that one there. So after you remove all your backgrounds, you're gonna go ahead and go back and remove one of them. You're gonna keep it there. You can save it and then just keep it there. And then you wanna click on the plus sign, add image, and then you wanna add the uh, images that you removed. And then we're gonna go back one more time and add another image. We are missing the black one. Okay, and then you can either lay them out like this, side by side, but I'm not gonna do it that way. You can either, you can do them like that, but I'm going to do mine like this. And you can um, play with these, If you can move these around. The settings in here, let me show you really quick. Like if you wanted to move this object like behind another one or switch them around like that. I wanna keep mine in the order they are, but just to show you, you can easily move this one behind the red one just by clicking on tools and then hitting the back button like that. So if you play around the app is really, they have so many different, um, so many different tools y'all so many different things that you can do with this okay so this is how i'm going to arrange it i'm just going to play around with it just a little bit until i like what i see Okay, y'all, and that works for me. What do y'all think? Okay, so once you get it to how you like it, you can rearrange it however you want. And then we're just gonna go ahead and save it. And then that's how you create a professional looking uh, product listing. Um, after this, I'm gonna scroll through. I'm gonna keep watching. I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna show you some more product photos that I've done, that I've done using this app. Because you, this doesn't only work for products. You can also use this app to remove the background for clothing. It works great with flat lace. It also works well with mannequins and putting your clothes on a hanger, whatever the case. The only thing is with, um, with larger items, like if you put clothing on a mannequin or a hanger and it's like a dress or pants or something like that, I recommend that you use a um dslr camera or you know whatever a digital camera something not your cell phone because the the images just don't come out uh they come out grainy and stuff like that especially when you're photographing inside of a house or inside of a building with a cell phone the lightning is just not it just doesn't do the product justice it come out it comes out grainy but if you're doing smaller items and that you can uh, photograph close up, then the phone is perfect, just like these socks that came out nice and clear. If you're photographing clothing, I would use a digital camera. And um, yeah, and if you like to see a video with me um, removing the background using a mannequin, let me know and I'll make a video with that because there is, there are a little bit of uh, tips and tricks when it comes to that that, I, that I've had to figure out. That's it, guys. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.